Friday night and we just made a last minute trip to Lincoln City. A friend of mine offered to let us come stay at her beach house. So we are gonna do some ax throwing, some shopping. We're gonna go to the beach, a little garden that's up the street, some other things. And we thought we would vlog it and share with you. It's just me and the four younger girls. Party, party, party. Can I sleep in the same room as you? Yeah, I think you and Sydney would be in this room. Oh, this is our room. We picked the room that we were supposed to be in. And that's what I was thinking is that you and Daphne would be in that room. Well, then there's still. No, this there's, one's a, the... no there's a TV in this room. This and this is where I'll be, I guess. So this morning I got up to check the weather to know what to wear to go down to the beach. There is, um, there's a tsunami warning. So I had a dream about a hurricane last week. I was a little nervous to come to the coast. We don't have hurricanes here, but we do, I guess, have tsunamis. And so I need to talk to the girls and see if they want to stay. Supposedly it's just like sneaker waves and you only need to stay away from the beach for the next few hours. What I fear is like that a worse earthquake will happen and a worse tsunami will happen. And I'm probably overreacting from, you know, other things we've seen. Okay, everybody come here for a minute. I just talked to dad and there's like a hazardous weather warning because there's a tsunami. There was an earthquake. Basically, the worst of it supposedly is right now like high waves. There could be a second earthquake that causes a worse tsunami, which could be dangerous. And we'd only have three, four hours notice to leave if that happened. Do you guys want to stay or do you want to go? I want to stay. I want to stay. You all want to stay. Sydney, you want to stay? Yeah. You guys can all swim good. If we get pulled out to the ocean for days? I could swim forever. I can't. I can't. All right. Well, we won't be going to the beach today. Okay. We might be able to go tomorrow. All right. So I guess we're staying. Uh, if somebody finds my phone and you never hear from us again, <laughs> you know that we just decided to stay. Um, and we're going to make some crepes this morning. So get going. Yeah. Do we wanna just leave it as one or double it? Uh, maybe double it. I hope that comes tonight. Don't turn around, guys. How long is it taking to whip that whipped cream? Long time. <laughs> Since we're not supposed to go to the beach, there is a little community garden up here with paths. It looks kind of cute, so we're gonna walk there this morning. And hopefully tomorrow we can walk on the beach. So somewhere I think there's a path to get in there. All right, here we go. Let's go down here. Here we can follow this trail. Daphne, come this way. Oh, there is some weird stuff in here, huh? I think. I got a tooth too, I think. 
Yeah, you keep everything. Yeah, you keep everything. He you likes yours? Get like yeah. tiny dogs. Well, when we get home, you'll have to get pins out and you go through and mark what you got in your. I'm gonna trade. I wanna get like, I wanna go to like buy tiny dogs when I get home with them. Pack them up. Pack them up. Oh, this is a fossil. Line and then step forward with your right. <laughs> Follow through, Sid. So we had a really busy and fun-filled day. We didn't go to the beach because there's tsunami warning, but I think we'll be able to go down there tomorrow. So that's our plan for tomorrow. Was it a fun day, Dad? We're all just resting now. We're wore out. We made it through the tsunami warning. <laughs> just fine. But we are gonna walk down just to look at the beach this morning because it's almost high tide. We don't know how high that will be here. And then we'll head back down there this evening, fly some kites. How's it been so far, guys? Really good. Yeah. It's been so fun. I love Axon. What? I love Axon. Axon. So what do you like the best? Mm. Axon. It is high tide. So we're just gonna chill on the bench, drink our coffee, come back tonight with the kite, and hopefully enjoy the sunset while it's low tide. <laughs> Anybody know what they want yet? No? I mean, we could bring dad back so. Yeah. Mm. You can't go to the coast without getting some handmade, homemade candy. Mm. So we went into a shop, a super cute shop. They make the candy right in front of you. It's all homemade. They don't sell it anywhere else. It's not the one that's down by the walkable shops. You have to drive there. But it's a very short drive and it's worth it. And I got peanut butter bark. I got the same thing. We got gummies. I got toffee. And I'm pregnant, so I got two things. <laughs> a coconut stack and a peanut butter cup, both dark chocolate. Are they good?
That's so cool! I love that! Eva, let's see if we can find that. <laughs> Alright, we just got back in the car. We stopped at, what is this called? The Lincoln City Cultural Center. And the exhibit they have on through March something of 2022 is super cool. And I know they probably have different exhibits throughout the year. But if you can make it to Lincoln City before the end of March 2022, you should definitely check this exhibit out. They made all kinds of art from garbage that washed ashore and it's really beautiful and cool. What did you guys think? It was awesome. Amazing. Really cool. was Amazing. Cool. Oh, and they also have free or make a donation for some of you got girls. Little like craft making things that I believe are also from recycled materials. It's really cute. So. All right, let's go. All right, it is the end of the second day and we finally, finally, finally are headed down to the beach. We were hoping to fly a kite, but there is no wind. There is never no wind at the Oregon coast. But today there is no wind, so we'll see. <laughs> All right, we should probably head back to even a three. I want to show the beauty of teen children. I'm just sitting on the couch getting pistachios. While my girls are in the kitchen making dinner. We are at 
the, what's it called? The Cheeky Cauldron in Lincoln City. And we had to get, we got here 30 minutes early and we had outside to watch when the line formed because they have a line all day long. We did get a table, but I would if reserve one and have, have to reserve them four hours in advance. Um, that's to keep it warm. Um, I got pad foot. Pad foot. Oh, like mom. Which one's serious? Which one's serious? Warm too. No, Moody is um uh the werewolf. What can I think of? Yeah, yeah. That's his nickname. They don't leave with their nicknames. I didn't know his nickname was Worm Tail. I'm not sure. 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 i i I would like sugar cube. I would like free sugar cube. Oh gosh, the pop. Oh And that wraps up our Lincoln City, Oregon coast trip. I've placed links to everything in the description below along with the blog that also has links. If you have any questions, let us know and enjoy your trip to Lincoln City.